story of a legendary home run. A legendary home run by a great baseball player. Let's go try to find it. This is the Carteret Shopping Center. This is where Don Mailer left every day to go to the city and work in the garment district. He ran computer systems. But what he really did was kill thriving companies. He killed Lilia France, he killed Leon Farabek, and he killed a company called Charm. He was what's known as a corporate killer. On his way home, he would walk up Harrison Avenue. He had gotten off the bus after a long commute. He would walk up Harrison Avenue hoping that someone would come and pick him up. But most days, no one would pick him up. He would walk and walk. It's now been probably two to three hours since he's been home. He'd come past Hastings, and there it would be, his beloved Wedger Drive. Don would come home with one focus in his mind. No, not to see his children. He'd come home. He wanted the bathroom. <laughs> this is the home of Charlie Gomes, a longtime famous resident of Carteret and the next door neighbor of Don Mailer. Through his press agent, he provided me a statement. He said, and I quote, yeah, that was quite a home run, but I always had the better lawn. son to his wonderful mother, Grace Mailer, my grandma. Many a happy Christmas Eve was spent at their house, although the Mailers always had to race there to get there before the Leniards, who would always eat all the good cookies. This is Grant Park. Research shows that this is not, in fact, Liebig Field, where the legendary home run was hit. This is where Debbie and Patty used to go instead of going to church. Shocking, really. Young Donald and Carol, they always went to church. Pop must never know that this is where Debbie and Patty went. Shortly thereafter, he declared bankruptcy. Mr. Mailer, it was the shot heard around the neighborhood. I remember it like it was yesterday, here at Leibitz Field in the chrome section of Carteret, which is now, of course, is an apartment complex. I threw a high, hard one, about chest high, and you, with a graceful swing, politely hit the ball over the left field fence. Your son, Donald, saw it go over the fence and was so proud of his dad, his hero, his friend, you. I, too, was proud of you as I kept the actual ball from that historic day. Happy birthday and many more.
quest is at an end. We have found it. This, this is the location of the old Leavitt Field. This is where my dad hit that monstrous home run. That hot, monstrous home run that you've all heard about. Complete overreaction. How do I know this is the place? Because the town commemorated it with a plaque. Get that ball! <laughs> <laughs> Holy crow, he smoked me! Yeah! Get that ball, brother! Who's the man? <laughs> That's the way it happened.